What's up everybody, MC Murr here and welcome back to yet another video, a tag response video. That's right, I've been tagged by none other than back in the day gamer. The man in the custom Pac-Man blazer. Some of the biggest guns in the YouTube gaming business. You don't mess with this guy. And that's why I knew when I was tagged that I had to be on point. That I needed to come at y'all with some of the very best. With what was asked of me. Here it comes right now. The five most expensive Super Nintendo games in my collection. Kicking it right off with none other than Konami's Metal Warriors. Metal Warriors. Oh my god. God, this is the one right here. And not just because it's expensive. I paid 15 bucks for this back in the 90s. It was worth nothing then, but it was just as rare then as it is now. There's just not many of these floating around. And this isn't one of those games that's just cool because it's expensive. This is a great game, and if you haven't played it, you simply must find a way to do so. This is the most expensive game in my collection, as far as Super Nintendo stuff goes, that is. Very spicy meatball right here. Next up on the list, a game that all of you know and love and a game that needs no introduction, Chrono Trigger. Yeah, uh, also a very spicy meatball. Even more so if it had the box around it, but nonetheless, still expensive, even loose. Even despite some of the counterfeiting that's going on in the, in the market today, this remains a very expensive title to pick up because it's a fan favorite. Everybody loves Chrono Trigger. It's heralded as one of the greatest RPGs of all time. You gotta have this game, but it's uh, gonna cost you. In third place is a very cool game and a very expensive game, Demon's Crest. And I remember the first time I realized, you know, years on down the line, how expensive this game had become. And I was like, oh my God, do I have Demon's Crest? It's been so long, I even forgot that I had it. And I went straight over to the shelf and there it was. Hadn't touched it, seen it in ages. And it was such a relief <laughs> to see it on the shelf. I was like, oh, thank God I have Demon's Crest. I'd hate to have to pay that for a copy. But yeah, here it is. It's always been right here. I have no idea where I got it. I have no idea how much I paid for it back when, whenever that was. But here it is, Demon's Crest coming in at number three. Taking the fourth place spot, this is a title that has been on a lot of people's lips lately due to the collections coming out surrounding the series. Mega Man X2. Yeah, the uh, X2 and X3 for the Super Nintendo are not cheap and they're fantastic games these were so well made i don't have to tell you you know it's mega man it's capcom it's synonymous with quality but another thing it is is extremely expensive and taking fifth place the number five spot lufia 2 rise of the sinistrals not a cheap game and this is a game that I haven't played yet. Never had it, never rented it, never saw it for rent, never knew anyone that had it. I know about it, I know what it is, I know what awaits me in this game. But I'm gonna have to get to a point in my backlog where I finally got time to wail on this thing. So, a fantastic game to have, no doubt. But another game that's gonna cost you big time. So there you have it, the five most expensive Super Nintendo games in my collection. Now there may be ones in my collection that are worth even more than these. I doubt it, but there could be. I've got so many obscure Super Nintendo games. The market's always changing. Collectors are always going crazy. The market's always fluctuating due to supply and demand. You just never really know what's going on with these things. You know, hidden gems become extraordinarily valuable all the time out of nowhere. And then you, can, you just can't justify paying for these things anymore. I'm so glad to have acquired these games at the prices that I did. They are very spicy now. Would not want to pay those dollar amounts to acquire them today. Thank you so much for taking a look at these with me, and I want to thank Back in the Day Gamer for including me in this fantastic tag response opportunity. Hope you liked what you saw. If you have not checked out Back in the Day Gamer, 
He's one of my favorites out there in YouTube land. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description of this video so you can go check him out. He does fantastic stuff. I also urge you to drop a like on this video. I hope that you did like this video. I hope that you're gonna to subscribe to the MC Mer Show. If you're not already subscribed to the MC Mer Show, be a part of Mer Nation and all the fantastic things that we're doing right here on the show. Lots more fun things to come. Thanks so much for watching MC Mer signing off for now, and I will see each and every one of you again next time.